everybody. As you can see behind me, I'm now a spin instructor. Just kidding. You would never see me on one of these. So right now, really just wanted to come to you and give you just kind of an injury update of what's going on with me, how I'm feeling, how things are going, and really just the progression of where we're going to be going into the Rogue Invitational. As I've mentioned, if you've seen my videos, huge contest coming up uh, at the end of October in Austin, Texas. If you do want to come, uh, tickets are going to be down in the description below. Again, this show is massive. It is a three-day fitness event, I guess is the best way to put it, because it's not just strongman. We're going to be, there's going to be CrossFit. All the best CrossFitters are going to be there, along with some powerlifting and Olympic lifting. It is a massive weekend that Rogue is putting on. And we are, so, I, I mean, I am honestly so honored and excited to be a part of it. The lineup is arguably the most stacked strongman lineup we've ever seen. Uh, so there is myself, Martins Listis, Matush Kiliskovsky, Brian Shaw, Aleski Novikov, both of the Stoltman brothers, Mikhail Shivlikov, Jerry Pritchett, and JF Carone. I mean, yeah, honestly, I, I, I'm honestly at the point where I, I am speechless of the fact that I was considered as one of the 10 athletes for this competition, and honor doesn't even begin to describe how I feel which is why I am going so hard in this training. As of right now, since I moved back to Massachusetts, I'm back working full time. Uh, you know, I'm working as an athletic trainer again, loving it being, a, you know, I'm, I'm a part of a local high school and absolutely love being ingrained with the students, covering these sports and having that as a part of my life again. And it is really, really fun, but it is tough. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm working full time while also still training for this competition. So it's long days. Uh, putting in a lot of work and a lot of hours, but it is all worth it to, to be one of those 10 athletes at the Rogue Invitational in October. Now we're setting the mood with the lighting. I mean, we're getting fancy here. So as far as I'm, uh, where I'm feeling, how things are going, as we all know about, what's a month? It's September now? So now we're 11 months uh, out from when I initially ruptured my tricep. So that means we're about 10 and a half months from when I had the surgery. The tricep is feeling pretty good. I would say strength-wise, I'm probably 75% there. Range of motion is, is good. It's as good as it's gonna get. I don't know if it'll really get any better, right? So active extension, I can't get to full extension. I'm short about anywhere between five and eight degrees on the given day. But when I am loaded and pressing, so bench pressing, overhead pressing, anything like that, I can get to full extension. So strength-wise, I mean, it puts me in a good spot. It's just going to take a lot of time for me to get back to where I was before. And I'm okay with that. You know, where I am in my lifts right now, being able to still press in the mid 300s on a log and an axle, I'm comfortable with that because all of my other lifts are feeling fat, absolutely fantastic. And at the Rogue Invitational, we have a dumbbell ladder. So I only use my right arm for that anyway, so I really don't mind my left arm being behind a little bit. And then... Along with the tricep, as we know, now we are about three months, three months ago, uh, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. So obviously a big shock. I caught the cancer as I was actually preparing for World's Strongest Man. And due to having to go through physicals and all that stuff for World's Strongest Man, that's how we were able to catch it and move on it so quickly to be able to make sure that it didn't metastasize and spread to other places in my body. So the cancer luckily was lo localized just to the right testicle, went in, pulled everything out. Uh, they tested it, it did come back positive for a stage one seminoma, which is pretty standard for testicular cancer. And we're really fortunate that we caught it in stage one just because we know that then it was just localized, wasn't spread anywhere else. And as far as treatment goes after that, I made the decision to go with what they call active monitoring. So the doctors did give me the option of going through chemo and radiation, but with only about a 5% chance of the cancer returning, I decided to not go that route. Instead, what we're doing is I'm on a strict schedule of CT scans and blood work just to make sure we don't find anything that pops up. And if we do, then we can jump on it quickly, treat it, and hopefully get rid of it. So technically, as of right now, I am in remission. Uh, you know, I'm actually coming up on my three month checkup to see how I'm doing. The surgery went really well. When it comes to the testicular cancer, the orchiectomy is what they call the surgery. A lot of people think, um, or they don't understand exactly what the surgery is. So walk you through it really quick. So they actually make an incision right on your pant line. And then they actually go down, uh, you know, through the groin 
to pull out the testicle and the lymph nodes and everything else associated with it. So that recovery was a little bit tough. You know, it, I was not able to really do anything physical uh, in terms of exercise for three weeks. Like, no, I, I could walk. That was all I really could do. Then starting week six, I was able to start getting back into the gym and start lifting. So it was really tough to be prepping for World's Strongest Man and America's Strongest Man and being on this really great road to recover from the tricep surgery. Then to get dealt that blow with cancer, you know, pulling me out of all the other shows, but again, still looking as, you know, still looking forward and being as positive as possible, knowing that I had the Rogue Invitational in October, that immediately was my goal, was to be as healthy and strong for that competition as possible, which I am so happy to say I am really on a great path with my new coach, Terry Rady, my nutritionist, Nathan Payton. Um, I really have such an amazing team surrounding me and I feel great right now, you know, that we have about seven more training weeks until the Rogue Invitational. And comparing my training from now to where I was seven weeks out from the Arnold in 2020, I feel like I'm in a really good spot considering all the blows that I've been dealt throughout the past year. And it really does excite me come competition day where I'm gonna be and how I'm gonna perform because I am itching to be back on that competition floor, healthy, and ready to just honestly have fun. That's what I honestly miss so much. Like I miss competing, I miss wanting to win, but strongman for me is such a fun sport and such a fun moment to be out there performing in front of you fans uh, with all of my friends in this amazing fitness arena. It's something that I have missed so much over the past year and since I haven't been able to do it. And now that I'm able to come back at this competition, the first year of the Rogue Invitational Strongman competition, uh, to have such an amazing platform to do so, I am honestly so excited. So training is going great. I am so motivated and pushing so hard in the gym. You know, you know, every single workout is anywhere between two and four hours on a given day, depending on what I'm doing. And it really is no BS every time I step into the gym. You know, I come in, I go to work, get my stuff done, and just try to make the most of every single day. And as of right now, I feel really confident where I'm at. I'm getting stronger every session. Even when I have a bad day, I still try to take the positives out of it. And I think that's what's really keeping me motivated going into my training for this competition because I feel like so many of us can get so defeated from a, from a bad training session. But when you look at the overall picture, one training session doesn't define, an, doesn't define an entire prep for a contest. And I think for any of you watching out there, you know that is such an important lesson to learn, especially when you're going into shows, that one training session, if you have a bad one, it's not gonna derail you. It's not gonna change your course and not gonna change the outcome of the competition. So get in there, put in the work, regardless of the obstacles, make sure you get those training sessions in because that's what I've done. I feel so good about it. I feel healthy, I feel strong. I am so excited to go and I keep, I feel like I'm just rambling, but honestly, it is because I do feel good and I am so excited to compete again, be on the competition floor with my friends, be in front of the, all of you fans that are gonna be coming out to cheer us on. Like I said, Check out the description below for the link to buy tickets to the Rogue Invitational coming up Halloween weekend in Austin, Texas at Dell Diamond. It's an outdoor baseball stadium where the competition is going to be held. So that's going to be an absolutely amazing venue. And, you know, like I said, it's not just Strongman. We get everything in fitness. It's going to be an absolute blast of a weekend. Along in the description, make sure you check out all of my sponsors that support me in my journey of strength. And until next time, power through.